what he thought was godly at all. Amen. Because I told him it wasn't. I told him it was demonic. I yep. told him that he needed to rebuke those thoughts. And the Bible said to take captive of them. I gave him every scripture that I could think of. Amen. To get him back on the right track, Brother Johnny. Amen. I felt the Spirit of God while I was talking to him several times. I know God was using me to talk to him. <laughs> It's going to take God to change his mindset. Amen. It's going to take God to touch him and deliver him from those thoughts because he's given place to them for years now. Amen. When the devil gets a stronghold on you, let me tell you, God's the only one that can break that stronghold. Yep. I don't care what it is, whether it's nicotine, person, amen, or evil thoughts, amen. amen. I don't care what it is, amen. If they come in a dream, Sister LeVon, you have to rebuke those things. Yeah. You have to run from them, the Bible says. Don't give place to them, amen. Glory to God. And this young man was at, is at the age of 40 and talking. He didn't come out and say he was going to kill his kid, but he did say, the only way my, I'm promised that my kids can make heaven their own is that they don't make it to the age of accountability. He said, and I'm willing to, to go to prison to make sure they go to heaven. That's a crazy that's sad. Sad. Yeah, buddy. But Let me tell you, that's what Sometimes this world is working towards. Amen? That's the time and season that we're in now. Amen? I'm telling you, amen, it's close to the coming of Jesus Christ, amen. And we've got to be ready and prayed up, amen. You don't know what's fixing to take place, but God does, amen. And I'm telling you, it's time that we quit playing church and be the church, amen. Be who God's called us to be, amen. It's 2015, yes, amen. It is. You're not promised another day, amen. But is your mind made up that you're sold out for Jesus and you're not going to live for the things of this world, but you're going to live for God? Amen. And you're going to do all that God would have you to do. Amen. Is He number one in your life? Amen. Is it important to you to make sure that heaven's your home? Amen. Are these things on this earth more important to you Come on. than Him? Amen. I can tell you, amen, there were several things that God had me to say to him the other night. And it come down to the end uh, right before we got cut off. The, God just shut the phone off too. I mean, right at the end of our conversation. And I was sitting there uh, repeating things that I'd already said to him. And I was like, I don't know what else to tell him. God, I just I told him, I said, I'll be praying for you, Tommy, and I'll have the church pray for you. I said, don't you go do anything that you're thinking about doing. Amen. And he texted me back a few minutes after. I probably still got it on my text because I don't believe I erased it. He texted me back and he said, Pastor, he said, I want to tell you, you've said some things to me. That's got me thinking. And praise the Lord. Amen. I didn't reply. It's just praise the Lord. Because God is going to have to change. I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. God's going to have to change that young man's mindset. Amen. And show him the truth. Amen. And help him to realize. I did tell him God didn't give life to take it. Amen. Right. You know. He said, don't be dumb and naive when it comes to the Word of God, Tommy. You said you've been raised up Pentecostal all your life. You know good and well. What you're sitting here telling me is not led by God. And he tried to take me to Pharaoh and to Job's life. Amen. And why in the world would God take all Job's family? I said, God didn't take Job's family. I said, you've misread the Word. Go back and read it. I said, the devil did all, but God allowed it. I said, no, God didn't allow that. He allowed the devil to attack Job. But he said that the devil couldn't take Job's life. He said, yeah, but he let him take all his kids and this and that, and then gave him twice. Why would God do something like that? I said, I'll tell you what. 
I said, God knows best. And for you to question what God's up to and what He's doing, I'm telling you, that's led by a spirit that ain't of God yep. to start with. Amen. Sound like Lucifer to me. Amen. I'm telling you, you need to quit thinking like this, Tommy. I'll just tell you right now, what you need to do is you need to humble yourself and begin to pray and seek God and ask God to show you what to do. I said, my Bible tells me that if we raise our children up in the fear and admiration of the Lord, they may turn and walk away from God, but they'll come back to find God before it's too late. Why? Because God promises that He'll take care of them. Amen. But to take their life for the hand that was to mine. And I hope and pray that that Got that young man on the right track. Amen. I told him before we got cut off, the very thing you need to do is get back in. I said, Tommy, you're not going to church now, are you? He said, no, I haven't been in a while. I said, you need to get back in church. You need to get up under somebody that will preach the Word of God and teach the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. And you need to realize, amen, that God wants you to learn His Word. Amen. Don't you let... Man, put thoughts in your mind, amen. Don't you let things that and, and comes around and spirits come to you, amen, and attack your mind like that. You go to the Word of God and get an answer. You don't just trust anybody's opinion. That's right. Amen. I'm telling you. You and I need to realize that God is here to take care of us. He wants to use us in these last days. Turn with me to, to the book of John, chapter uh, 8. Chapter 8. One verse here. Verse 12. Pick to the close. Come on up, brother George. It says, Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Amen. I want to tell you why that young man is in that stage and frame of mind that he's in. It's because he's walked away from God because of negative thinking. Amen? It's not because he hadn't heard the word before, but it's because he's given place to evil thoughts. And those thoughts have captivated him, amen, in captivity, amen? And now he's thinking about doing things that he knows is wrong. He's trying to say that it's all right. Jesus said that we'll take up the cross and follow him. That he'll lead God and direct us. Amen. That he is the light of the world. That's what that verse says. He's the light of the world. He wants us to walk out into this, of these doors and be that light that he's called unto a lost and dying world to be a witness to them. Amen. He expects you to do your part. Amen. No, we can't do anything without Jesus. But if we'll follow Him, He'll lead us and guide us throughout this whole dark and dreary world that we live in. Amen. And He'll show Himself to those, Larry, that we come in contact. Larry, God wants to use you. And I believe down and deep down in your heart you already know that. He'll not do it if you won't wait out in the water. If you just sit back and don't do nothing about what God wants to do in your life, you know what? Next year you'll be sitting in the same place. Still not doing it. God won't make us but he'll open doors and give us opportunity. That's why I was glad to see Brother Johnny said, yeah. Sister Carol come to me and says, I just wanted to ask you before I go to Brother Johnny, I feel that God wants me to get him to come and minister at our church. I said, Sister Carol, that's great. Get him. You know what I was praying? I was praying that it take off and break out in revival. Amen. But I pray. And I believe it might still do it. Just because she didn't say it today. Don't mean that God may not have that to come to pass. Amen. I don't want my will to be done. I want His will to be done. Amen. But I know 
I know that this world is in due for a great revival. Amen. We need revival here at New Life Heart to Heart Church. Amen. And let me tell you, the Spirit of God is what brings revival to the church. It's not a man. Amen. But it's the Spirit of God. Amen. And if we'll resurrect from the dead tonight. Amen. And begin to seek after God with all our heart, mind, soul, and body. We can have revival. Amen. Without God sending any other minister in here. Amen. We can break out and revival ourselves. Amen. Everywhere we go, we can't help but to talk about Jesus. That's the revival that I believe God wants to do in these last days because He said He's going to pour His Spirit out upon all flesh. Amen. And I'm telling you, Amen, we need to go outside these doors. Amen. And be a witness to a lost and dying world. Amen. Reach out to the lost. Invite them to church. Amen. All they can do is tell you no. That lady could have turned around and told me it ain't none of your business, young man, whether I drink beer or not. But she didn't. Why? Because God told me to tell her she didn't need it. Amen. There have been times God spoke to me, Melinda, and told me to tell people you don't need that beer. What you need is Jesus. And I wouldn't do it because I was afraid of what they said. Last time, I told God, if you ever tell me to do it again, I'll do it. And since then, he's told me three times since And so far, I've been faithful. And I'm so proud. <coughs> I haven't seen nobody turn around and put the beer back on the ship, fall under conviction so bad that they didn't do it. But I'm looking for that time. Amen. Why? I'm being tested by the Lord. Amen. If I'm going to be obedient. Amen. And God's not going to go through asking me to do things and not reward me when I'm faithful. Amen. Yes. He'll not do that to you either. Amen. Don't give up on those that in your family that's lost. Don't throw in a towel. But don't pamper them and baby them. You tell them the truth. When God tells you to say something, you tell them. Other than that, you just walk in love with them and let God be God. Amen? Because we can be too pushy sometimes too. When I first got saved, I'm, I told you I was trying to close, and I am. But I feel the Holy Ghost, amen? When I feel the Holy Ghost, it's hard to shut up. Amen? Come on, brother. Pray the Lord. I can tell you when I first got saved, I was so overzealed, amen. Wanted everybody to have what I got, amen. Because what I got then I never had before, amen. And I'm telling you, amen, I knew what I had was good, amen. And everybody needed a taste of Jesus, amen. I remember the first time I got up and preached, Brother Johnny, and I told people, you know, Jesus is kind of like these fast food restaurants. They got hamburgers and stuff that you can have, but if you've never had one of them, you don't really know what he tastes like, amen? And that's what Jesus is like. If you've never felt him or experienced him before, you just need to get a good old bite of him, amen? And you'll want more of him. Man, we'll never forget that. Craziest message I guess I've ever heard in my life. There was one time God had me preach about a Coca-Cola, amen? It's the real thing. Jesus is the real thing. Amen. He's what everybody needs. I'm telling you the truth tonight. Amen. It's not these other things and other flavors in the world. But it's Jesus Christ that you need in your life. Amen. You need to serve Him with all your heart. Amen. Yes. Let me tell you, Amen. God knows what He's doing. We just need to become obedient and follow after Jesus. Amen. Let Him be the light of the world in your life. Amen. 2015. Or to be your best year in serving Jesus. Why? Because the others are gone. Did you hear me? It's too late to go back and change what you did or didn't do in 2014. It's over. 2015's in. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm in. Amen. If 
if you're not in, you know what? You're out. But you can get in because you're still here. Make up your mind tonight. Make up your mind that you're going to follow. Take up the cross and follow Jesus. Make up your mind that you're no longer yours, but you're His. That's what it takes. Sister LaVon, there's times that I know I don't read and spend enough time with God. And my prayer this year is, Brother John, that when God wants me to spend time with Him and I'm not, that He'll drop conviction on me so strong I can't help but to go run and get at His feet. Amen? Why? Because He's what matters in my life. Amen? He's not what matters in your life and your prayer won't be that. But if He is, why don't you ask God to do that in your life? Didn't you? There'll be several of you that'll bring people in that you've witnessed to outside these doors and they accepted Jesus as their life and they need a home church. <coughs> Amen? Yeah. And they'll come here because you let them. Not that you saved them because we can't save them. But we can show them the way. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap tonight. Amen. I hope that you got encouraged tonight to be all that Jesus would have you to be. Oh, it takes effort, sister. Hope to make it up the mountain. Amen. Amen. Johnny preached that message one time, you got to go through the valley to get to the mountain. Amen? Sometimes we find ourselves dying in the valley because we're not willing to climb. What do you mean, Brother Derek? Not willing to get down and pray and seek God's face. Not willing to put our trust and faith in Him, Sister Sue. And wonder why we're still where we're at. Amen. Let's make some changes this year. And seek God with all our heart, mind, soul, and body. Be who God's called you to be. Amen. You can't save that which or lead that which God would have me to lead. That's why I'm here. And that's why you're here. Because I can't lead the ones that God can use you to lead. Amen. Show Jesus in your life. Amen. Go outside these doors and be the light of the world. Amen. Be who Jesus called you to be. Amen. And I'll guarantee you, amen, you'll not miss the mark. Amen. But you'll find things happening. Amen. In a lost and dying world, you'll find people that's willing to change. Amen. Ready for a change, brother Johnny. There at one time in my life I used to pray, God, God, I know there's lost and dying souls out in this world, but a lot of them, God, that I run into, they're not willing to change. So God, you start sending those that are ready for a change. God, God, those that are willing to make a change in their life, you send them to me. You know what? God does that very thing. Amen. Why? Because He come to save the world. Amen. Not to put them down, but to save that which is lost. Amen. And He knows if they're ready or not. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a big hand clap. Amen. Amen. I hope that it encourages you to go outside and be the witness God's called you to be. Amen. Remember to be here Wednesday night. Amen. Ready to worship God. Amen. If you can, bring someone with you. Amen. Invite those that you come in contact with to church. Amen. And pray for all those that you come in contact with. Don't forget Tommy. Amen. He needs your prayers. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Everyone just missing the name of Jesus. Sandra stood on her? Oh, she went back. She did. She had nursery. Oh, okay. We need her.
I just wanted to tell her what to do. Okay. I'll go get her. Yeah, just, thanks. Praise the Lord, Brother Hines. Praise the Lord. Good sermon. Yes, sir. And thank you and John have a present. Yeah. Some yeah. I've got an idea what to run by you. Okay. Yeah. Brother, you hang in there. Be careful. Love you. Love you too, Brother George. Appreciate you. If I can do anything for you, carry you where you just let me know. All right. Because I have, most of my days are free, so. I can carry the doctor with you. God bless you, brother. Bless you, brother. So if you need me, don't, don't, don't be afraid to ask. All right. Just because I missed you that time, I don't mean I, I didn't try to get to you. We just got crossed up. Uh, <clears throat> I love you, man.